Hi Pisces and welcome to your reading. This is for February 2020. I hope that you're all doing well. Uh, Pisces, I want to thank all of you for all your love and support that you have been giving me on my channel, especially for those of you that have been with me from the beginning. I am uh, very grateful to have all of you here. For the new subscribers, welcome to my platform. Um, for those of you that do not know, I channel messages from my higher self and the divine, and I use the cards as a tool to deliver the messages. I'm also very active in my community now. It's been 25 years and on. And I'm very humbled to be here on YouTube to uh, share my gifts with you to the collective, uh, on the collective. Um, uh, there's many ways in how to support the channel is by, uh, of course, subscribing if you want to, liking, sharing, commenting, and viewing as well. Um, also by watching the video fully and watching the ads does help me to stay on the platform. So again, I want to uh, take the time also to uh, thank all of you that sent prayers to my mom. Um, all the prayers <clears throat> and the positive thoughts and the healings that took place. I really am appreciative. Know that she is doing the same thing for the collective. Every day she is praying for the collective <clears throat> with her rosary beads. She's not completely out of the woods yet completely, but she is getting better in her, her morale is getting better day by day. So again, thank you all again for the patience. And um, also I changed my format, as you noticed. I'm trying new things because I like to try new things at times. And also, I want to say that um, for those of you that sent me postcards or letters, donation and gifts, I want to thank all of you. It, I'm very humbled by this experience. I am going to send a thank you note, but it might take longer than I thought because of uh, the my, a lot of my energy is with my mom now. But uh, for sure, in 2020, uh, you will get a thank you note from me. Uh, so let's get started with your reading. There's going to be a two part of your reading. Okay, so uh, how it's going to be is that I'm going to do um, Oracle card reading right now and then the tarot card reading and for your crystals and your sacred geometry uh, frequency and your animal spirit and other cards that I have there for you. That will be on a separate video next week. So also look out for a second video coming out for you Pisces. Now let's get started with your reading. Okay. Um, so this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But if you have Pisces uh, in your um, Mercury, Chiron, Chiron, uh, Jupiter, or Saturn, this is also your reading. Just remember, anytime you see this reading will be the right time for you. And please uh, have patience and bear with me because um, I channel a lot of messages. And sometimes you're going to have to come back a couple of times to rehear the messages. Okay, so let's get started with your reading right away. This is for Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces for February 2020? Okay, you got the star card. Let me see if you could see the card because I'm testing this new equipment right now and uh, I'm testing it while I'm doing it. So uh, I have to make sure that everything is <clears throat> where it's supposed to be. So the star card. So there is a healing and a blessing taking place for you in the month of February and so forth, or maybe ar around this Aquarian energy that we are in. Uh, this is a... <clears throat> this is a looking at the future with hope and optimism. Maybe there's something that came through that a breakthrough for some of you. There's also the power of faith to move mountains and happy changes that bring relief from challenging times in the past that's taking place. It also talks about returning to good health and a lot of opportunities, inspiration and hope. Now with the seven, seven of cups energy, uh, they're saying that there's no time to procrastinate anymore. Your power comes from making a decision. There is a, some type of decision that will have to be made uh, like, because uh, what they're showing here is that the Seven of Cups energy talks about confusion that arises from overanalyzing situation or things, okay? So um, it talks about also grounding yourself as well. Now, let me see if these cards are... Okay, I think that that's good. <laughs> and um, then you got the King of Pentacles energy. That's just someone that's very compassionate, 
very accomplished uh, and gifted. Uh, they're also saying here this this could be you and your energy, uh, my beautiful Pisces, or you're dealing with someone in this type of energy. Uh, they're very, uh, you know, it also talks about being assertive when it comes to what you know is right. And everything is um, going your way. So there could also be a good person or company to work for as well. If you were, uh, if uh, this is, or this could be also a love partner as well. Okay. What else is there? for Pisces. I'm going to see if I could just like push this over here. Hopefully the cards are, are clear. Not like my other two videos, but I was, I'm testing out this new equipment. <laughs> so here we go. You got the eight of uh, pentacles. So uh, the eight of pentacles talks about where you're working very hard, okay, on a project or something. You're working late hours. It's really like precise work. It also talks about uh, do not uh, to do more research uh, before proceeding to something else. Maybe for some of you, need to go back to school or you need to take an extra course for your work. And um, so there could be like a seminar, going back to school or apprenticeship. Or and this also talks about uh, like whatever that you're working on. Uh, it's going to be a long-term project that's here for you, okay. And one more card with these ones so it's very i'm happy to see that the the star card was the first card that came out it's very optimistic to see that and you have the queen of summer so the queen of summer here i don't know if you see the card let me see okay uh this talks about a cancer scorpio or pisces it doesn't have to be this could be you my beautiful pisces you're very loving you're very comforting uh you're probably very emotional at this time and also what i see here uh, very intuitive okay they're saying to listen to your heart and into the insights that, can, that you can trust, okay? And taking care of others. Maybe some of you are taking care of others too much is what they're telling me here. Um, but this could also be, like I said, a, um, some of you uh, are, are, there's something here about a king of pentacles. This could be you financially or the person that you're dealing with, okay? So now let me take my other cards here to see um, what else is going on here for you. I hope that you're all doing okay, uh, Pisces. I hope that January treated you well. Okay, let's see what else is going on for Pisces for February 2020. What they're saying is that there's also a um, um, some type of promotion or something that's coming in or some type of stability for you, okay? Some type of stability that's coming for you. So you got two nines on the ground, 99. So what you're saying is that right now you have, there's a lot of completions that are taking place and maybe already the completions are have been done and you have some kind, type of uh, spiritual strength that came in from the divine. So there is uh, um, some type of spiritual strength here that took place for you. And, uh, you know, you cultivated a lot around this time, okay? You cultivated a, uh, and you're wishing for more. From the nine, you're going to a ten. So you are working very hard towards that. And you are having uh, maybe the divine, the universe, the energies, whatever it is. There's something here that is um, that is helping you to overcome whatever situation that you're in, okay? So what else is this about here? Let me see. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of movement for you. A lot of choices and a lot of decisions that have to take place. This could be for marriage. This could be for a union, travel. This could be also money, monetary, okay? Uh, so uh, some of you maybe are cross or That's why there's a lot of confusion. You want so many things. You've been manifesting so many things. And I see these things coming towards you. I do, okay? But you need to make decisions here. Some of you have to create a vision board. I think that will help you to focus on what you really want instead of really like thinking too much in general of something or too many things at the same time. It could happen that uh, sometimes you need to be clear, okay? And um, there is 
love begins here for you. So, so there is a new beginning that's taking place. Maybe a friendship coming together here. It could be a friendship. Uh, I just want to see if the card, you see it's good. Yeah, you do. Okay, perfect. Uh, so um, it could be a, a friendship, a business partnership, or love. Okay, that's taking place. But some of you are going through a lot of conflicts at this moment. You feel like you're being defeated. Every time you take a step forward, you feel like uh, you're taking two steps back. And you may be dealing with a... Uh, Capricorn energy, okay, Pisces, uh, you know, they're going through a lot at this time. If you are dealing with a Capricorn energy, or this has to do with also uh, with the planets being all in Capricorn right now, uh, like Saturn and Jupiter, uh, that there's uh, things are being released from you. And there's maybe some things that are, there, there is obstacles there. You know, maybe you're dealing with a lot of temptation or unhealthy relationships here as well, they're saying. But this is not for all of you. This is for some of you here that this is taking place, okay? Uh, but what I have underneath the deck is harmony. So there is, this it could be a soulmate energy, a twin flame energy. This partnership that you have, uh, Pisces, it's, a, it's truly heartfelt, okay? It's through the heart chakra uh, just by looking at each other, you know exactly how you feel. So this is a beautiful and, and it's very powerful uh, what I see up to now. Now I will take out my romance angels and see what is going on for my beautiful Pisceans here. Pisces for February 2020. All of you have been wishing upon a star. You've been wishing. Okay, you've been wishing upon a star. Okay, let's see what's going on here for Pisces. Maybe some of you are dealing with someone here that uh, is not for your highest good as well, you know. Uh, maybe with this person or situation, there's been a lot of conflict and defeat. Oh, okay. Some of you, this has to do with religious factors, okay, that maybe uh, some of you are... Uh, you know, religion is standing in the way, in the way, hate, the way you see things. Your life, life is influenced by religious, uh, religious, uh, sorry, <laughs> upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, this could be that. You know, some of you maybe are Buddhists, and you're dealing with someone that is uh, very much uh, into, uh, you know, their upbringing and how their parents taught them. That could be it too. Let's see what else is there for Pisces. Okay, some of you are going to be reconciling. There's is a reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. I also got very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. It's very important because I see that you've been wishing upon a star. You've been wanting. And there's a lot of options here. And there's a lot of movement choices and decisions that have to be made. So um, clearly decide what you want and not what you don't want. Okay. Next card you got is honeymoon phase. So enjoy the bliss of honeymoon time together, some type of vacation here, or it could also be marriage, but um, we'll see when I take extra cards. And the last card that you're going to get here is separation. Okay, so there is some of you maybe that are going to be uh, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So let's see what this is all about, okay? Maybe some of you have been separated from someone and this reconciliation is taking place. For others of you, I do see there's a honeymoon or the process of you go going away together. So this is a good thing. And uh, so, and underneath the deck, I got pay attention. Oh, sorry, not pay attention. Children. <laughs> your love life is being affected by your children. But I also have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you about a particular person, okay? Now, I'm going to take my Italian cards here to see what's going on in the top row, okay? I already pre-shuffled all the cards, so... And now, we're just going to go straight into the reading. Now, let's see why the star card is here for Pisces on February 2020. What is the star card and the seven of cups? Oh, okay. Imeniano. Okay, so... This is a connection. This is a connection that came through for you. Okay. Um, there's been a lot of like uh, fighting, uh, confusion here. But uh, like you're, both of you are trying to find each other through the fog. What I'm picking up here. Why is the star card here with the seven of cups? Okay. Let's see what else is going on. 
Why is the King of Autumn here with the Eight of Autumn? So uh, financially, I feel that some of you are very set here financially. Uh, you know, you've been saving money, okay? Um, I also noticed that uh, your some of you, your friends influence. I don't know who this message is for, but I'm going to put it out there. Some of your influences that you have, friends, they influence your decisions uh, when it comes to your love life. Maybe you ask too much from them and not go within yourself. Because I feel that there's someone around you that's very jealous, okay? There is a jealousy here. Um, you know, there's a lot of jealousy uh, with this person. And uh, there's a lot of anger associated with this person as well. But I feel that they're suppressing it is what I'm feeling very strong. But there will be a message coming in for you because you got that misanjiety. So there is a message coming in for you. This could be a form of a text message. It doesn't have to be just maybe a letter too. Who knows? Um, but it is a message that's coming in for you. Text message, phone call, like I said, that's coming in. And if this person, whoever this person is that's coming in to give you a message, they are a true friend to you, okay? So there's a true friend that cares about you here, okay? Uh, let me see here what uh, else I could say about these this person, these people. Some of you are not trusting your intuition and you're going on the outside to get information or to get to see what other people think. And I think you're going in the wrong direction to go towards other people or your friends or whoever it is that you confide in. Okay, because inside, like, I also noticed that you've been suppressing a lot of energy right now. Pisces, you know, not saying the truth and how what you feel. But also with the peacock here, it tells me about money. There is money that's coming in or stability that's coming in. And a lot of you are worried about money. Maybe you're worried about a situation. I will see you overthinking and overanalyzing about something. Okay, and whoever this person is, okay, will be here that uh, is, uh, you know, um, this, this type of jealousy. Well, there is some type of uh, person around you that you should be careful of, okay, uh, or not trust. Because what they're showing me here, very honestly, is that uh, this person is not for your highest good. This is someone that is, is like a snake. You know, they pretend they're your friend, but they're not really your friend. So be careful of that energy, okay? Be careful or just, just uh, be more aware of the, whoever this person could be for you, okay? Now, let's see what else I could get here for you. Yeah. Some of you are stuck in your old ways too, Pisces. Okay. So there's something that you need to shift as well. Okay. Whatever this connection, for some of you, there's a connection here. There's a connection online that you met. And this connection has been troublesome from the beginning. But, you know, um, it's been very troublesome from the beginning. But for some reason, you feel like you need to have contact with this person. But if that's been a lot of conflict, if I think that this temptation card with the conflict and defeat comes with this situation here, unhealth, unhealthy relationship or situation, which is a lot of fears, on okay, unhealthy, just very unhealthy here, okay? The signs are all there for you. So you really need to trust your intuition, all right? So um, I'm going to take out now my other cards to see what else this is all about. Now, why is the harvest, spiritual gain, movement, choices, life begins, love begins for you? What is this? Uh, what is this all about here for Pisces? Okay. Knight of Coins, Knight of Wands. And the six of wands. Okay. So this could be one person or your energy. Either or. It could be you. Okay. I don't know if you see it. Okay. So this could be you. I'm going to open up a line of light here. Because I feel that I'm not seeing something. Okay. So uh, this could be talking about uh, two people coming in. Or one person that is a knight of coins and knight of wands energy. Someone in. Could, this could be someone coming in very slowly. Taking their time to come in. This could be a promotion. Okay, or someone coming in, both of the people coming in that bring you stability, but also brings you adventure, um, you know, adventure, they want to have fun, okay? This could be two people or one person, depending if you're single. Whatever the situation is, 
whoever whoever this person is or whatever the situation is, if this has to do with finances, someone that has your back and is coming towards you, it's going to be very successful, okay, with the Six of Wands energy. This is being uh, public recognition and being successful here. Now, why is uh, movement choices, love begins, temptation and conflict? What is this all about? Again, with the Seven of Cups energy, confusion. So there is confusion around you. Maybe some of you are wanting, uh, a, There's, you know, the Seven of Cups also talks about wishing upon uh, your with whatever it is that you desire. You can have this, but there's also a sense of coming down to earth. Some of you are daydreaming too much. Okay, a sense of uh, coming down to earth needs to take place. Maybe do a vision board. That will help you, okay, Pisces? This talks about the Three of Wands energy. The Three of Wands is that your ships are coming in finally. Okay, and this is going to be long-term investment and long-term plans with someone. And you got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? This is success. This is someone that is very confident. She's very reliable. Now, I got the King and the Queen here. So this is a couple, okay, that's in, in here together. Um, let's talk about a woman or a man. Well, it's a woman. She's very nurturing as well. And your intuition <laughs> is right now some of you are not trusting your intuition okay some of you are not trusting it maybe you're not following it i don't know why it is some of you have a hard time trusting your intuition pisces but it is so important uh, the high priestess is here to help you to um, acknowledge what you have within you uh because uh, when the high priestess comes in reverse, this talks about secrets or information that is withheld from you. Okay, so lack of person, a lack, lack of harmony here as well. Um, so your intuition is off this week, okay? And some of you need to put your guards up. So seriously, put your guards up, all right? Now let's look at um, this Knight of uh, Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Six of Wands energy here. What does this have to do with? Okay, I just want to ask for one more card. Okay, Ace of Coins, okay, so you got the Six of Swords energy, this is very good, the Six of Swords energy talks about where you're going through a transition right now, okay, from the old to the new, from where it was dark to the light, you know, you get my point, right, there's a relocation and moving taking place for you, and you got the Ace of Coins energy, so this is a beautiful card where there is something coming in for you, this could be a gift, um, it could be a gift, it could be um, monetary, something to help you along the way, or someone. So the Ace of Pentacles is a very nice card to get. Now, um, let's look at the Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups energy here. I'm going to put your guards up. And I'm going to, and uh, actually, I'm, not, I'm allowed to do this, so, you know. I'm going to put that, you're, you're going to be trusting your intuition, okay? And uh, that your guards are going to be up. On something in your life because there is people that are not supposed to be there now why is the seven of cups here with the three of wands energy okay hold on a second i think these two cards came up okay you have a few of them that came up all right i'm going to show them to you but i'm not going to put them all on the ground okay <laughs> Some of you have healed from a broken heart, okay, because it came reversed. So there is a healing that took place here from the past, okay. I'm um, just trying to see if you see the card, uh, the Three of Swords energy. You got the Two of Cups. So when I asked for the Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands, their ships are coming in. There's two people here coming in together, sharing the same vision or love. If this is not a love partnership, this could be a friendship uh, a business partnership it could be a family member children but there is that okay uh the two of cups two people coming in together and you got the ace of cups energy a lot of cancer scorpio pisces a lot of energy this is returning to unconditional love you're probably going to feel overwhelmed you're going to feel but overwhelming in a good way you're going to be at peace this is true love sacred love divine love Okay, um, you also got the Nine of Cups energy. Just talks about wishful thinking, wishing upon a star of what you would like to have. And you have the King of Swords energy, which talks about, could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. If it's not that that person, this is yeah, your energy that you're seeing things on a different level. Okay, you're more clear thinking. Uh, whoever this is, or if you are this energy, 
uh, whatever situation comes your way, you're going to find a solution. There's a lot of wisdom here. And you got the world card. So there is some type of completion that's taking place for you. Congratulations. This talks about an ending of a cycle of life. Okay, right now you're in the pause mo movement, moment. Um, this talks about learned lessons from the past. Um, this talks about coming full circle. This major change that's going to take place for you. You're going to be very successful. A lot of su 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 uh, successful conclusions will be taking place. Uh, many possibilities, fulfilling, uh, fulfillment, okay, that you're going to feel overjoyed and achievement here. Very positive. Very beautiful. Now, let's see here with the Creed Conciliation what this is all about because I know some of you want to know. Some of you are probably reconciling with a friend, with a family member. Let's see what this is all about. What is, okay, here we go. The Four of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be a proposal with the Four of Wands. Or maybe it's if you've been fighting a lot with your uh, better half or whatever situation, uh, I see a reconciling of, uh, you know, that uh, things are going to start looking up for you. Uh, there's a proposal. Some of you are going to be getting married. Or if there's someone from the past that's coming back, I do see a proposal here uh, in the home. Okay. Now let's look at uh, the separation here. Why separation is here. What is this all about? Five of Swords energy. So <clears throat> some of you will be probably separating with someone for a bit. Maybe you just need time out. Okay, it doesn't mean it's a divorce. Okay, for if those of you or it's completely gone. It just means that uh, some maybe you're dealing with someone that was not for your highest good. Someone that was backstabbing you. Maybe this is what this energy here on top was all about. Okay, um, someone that has not uh, does does not have your back here. Okay, Five of Swords energy here. And separation, what does this mean? Give me another card. Yeah. Um, so the temperance reversed. So some of you may be dealing with someone that is a Sagittarius. If not, this talks about disharmony, uh, some type of um, uh, imbalance in a, uh, in a relationship. This talks about someone not having enough patience and making a rest. This shit. Like they make decisions really quickly without thinking about it. Now, some of you are dealing with with some type of an unhealthy situation because of this mimiko that I see over here. And that for me means that this person, uh, if they're on their way out, it's a good thing for you, okay? Yeah, this is someone that's not emotionally available for you, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy that they're not emotional. Uh, they're not emotional available. They're not available to you. And they're very moody at this time. And they're very manipulative or very needy or, or, or clingy or something like that. Or very oversensitive at this moment, okay? So there is a, some type of uh, separation that will take place here for you, Pisces. Not all of you. You'll know if this is your story. You'll know if this is your story. Then you'll know that this person was not for your highest good. Okay? They're not emotionally available for you. And, uh, yeah, see, and they, um, they're they not going forward in the way that they have to. Okay? They're really uh, stepping back from it. Okay? Or uh, or for uh, this, you could be dealing with a cancer or a... Um, or a cancer or a Sagittarius energy. It's, it's someone that gave up. There's some type of giving up that took place here and not taking control. Now, let me see what uh, the honeymoon phase is all about and the very soon. Okay, hold on here. Oops. Okay, what is the very soon and honeymoon have to do with? Okay, some of you are dealing, uh, some of you are letting go of control of a situation completely and letting the universe and faith step in. Some of you are dealing with an Aries energy here, that could be. Uh, or you may be dealing with someone that is also a uh, Libra uh, energy here as well. There's something off balance that's taking place here, maybe in business or uh, in a family situation where things are not going your way at this moment. Okay, maybe you're feeling powerless for some of you or feeling off balance at this time. 
and one more card for this and then we'll go for part two well there will be a new beginning for you that's 100 percent because they're showing me this with the honeymoon and the very soon card so there is a new beginning that will be taking place for you okay so now uh stay tuned for part two of the reading okay hi i'm back so i forgot to use this the singing bowl here so i will do this now uh, so uh, this will clear my energy, my space, and it will also do the same thing for you. And it's also like a mini meditation before we start the reading, okay? Well, the second part of the reading. So let's just uh, take a moment to take a deep breath in. Perfect. Now, where's my spray? Let me smudge a bit. So here we go. Some for my sacred space and some for you. And of course, some for me. Mm, I love this rosemary taste. So let's go with the Celtic cross. Okay, I already pre-shuffled all the cards. I'm just going to do it one more time. Cut the cards in three. One, two, three. Let's get started. This is for Pisces, February 2020. Oh boy, there's so many cards that came out. So I'm reading for a collective, and I figured this would be a good time to also do uh, multiple readings of different things like that. We'll see what else is happening for others out there, okay? Okay, let's get started. I got Ange, Ange de la Nuit. So, Angel of the Night. So, there's a lot of things happening here within you, okay? I feel a lot of this has to do with the shadow side of you. A lot of you are going through like this cocoon. It's like you're in a cocoon where it's dark. You're not seeing things clearly. You're releasing a lot. Your heart chakra feels like it's breaking for some of you. This has to do with a particular relationship, okay? Someone that... Uh, a particular relationship or something of about a relationship here it might be okay uh, what's crossing you is the four of swords energy energy so the four of swords talks about taking time out some of you are on a break there's or there was a breakup there was some type of separation that took place here a lot of you should be meditating at this time or are meditating at this time and underneath the deck uh, the, not underneath sorry the third card pertaining to this is the ten of pentacles so the ten of pentacles is a very positive card. It's uh, the most positive card in the deck. It talks about stability in finances or in love. This is also unexpected financial gain that's coming towards you, where it's going to bring you peace and happiness, some type of inheritance or large sum. Some of you, this could also have done as came through uh, some, some sort of inheritance, of, uh, maybe someone close to you or someone that you know of someone's passing. In the past, you got the lover's card. So the Lover's card talks about uh, a Gemini here. Uh, this talks about maybe a, a love person, a lover, a friend. It could be a twin flame. Um, there's a lot of decision making that has to be, take place with this card. It talks about the pros and the cons. 
on the top of the card you got the nine of swords energy some of you are not sleeping you're worried okay about money maybe love or a situation or a breakup or some type of thing the divine is saying that the more you worry uh, it's not going to change the more you worry it just uh, and you're putting too much negative thought into it the more that that will come towards you so it's a uh, worry is a waste of time and it will not change a situation or it will not change okay maybe some of you you cannot sleep because you're heartbroken as well it could happen that could be also one of the reasons um then you got the queen of pentacles taurus virgo or capricorn energy this could be you okay that you're very stable with the ten of pentacles this talks about someone that's very confident reliable material success very grounded you have the key that holds everything on the seventh position, you got the King of Cups, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This could be you. Uh, this is you being available, being mature, okay? Being available, uh, very um, warm-hearted. Uh, uh, emotions sometimes could be up and down, but it's okay, you know? You're sometimes uh, sensitive, that's that's fine. But you're also very kind, and uh, there's a lot of wisdom with you. What is around you right now? Some of you are feeling stuck in a situation, okay? Feeling that you cannot get out of. This could also be that some of you are have this in your mind it's like you're over analyzing and overthinking situations that you're feeling stuck and the four of cups reverse talks about some type of opportunity that was missed okay so there is a missed opportunity here for some of you okay this is what i see here okay some type of missed opportunity and the last card you got is the seven of swords energy so the seven of swords energy is evading you meaning it's leaving you at this time okay um in energy Okay, this is uh, Seven of Swords it usually talks about when it's upright, talks about someone trying to get away with something, someone trying not to, someone that's withholding information, but this is evading you. And underneath the deck, you got the, the tower. So there's some type of unforeseen change that's coming your way. And this is unexpected change. Um, it's going to be very powerful and it's going to be very liberating. The divine is coming in to clear the energy, to clear way to bring you on the right path is what I'm getting. Now, we're going to start clarifying the cards, okay? Uh, now, let's get started here. Why is the angel the me here? Okay. What is this angel of the night? A lot of transformations taking place here. What is the energy of the night? Why is that there? Well, whatever the situation, some of you are having a hard time letting go of someone or walking away from a particular situation. Okay. Um, Some of you feeling stuck. This is the Pluto energy as well. The sacrifice here. Okay, you're seeing all the signs. It's not that you're not seeing the signs. You are seeing the signs. But this is like missing an opportunity, okay? And, or an ability to change or some type of... Uh, it's like not wanting to see the situation for what it is. And some of you are having a hard time walking away from this. Okay, so let's see what else is going on here. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed with the Hanged Man here? Being suspended, waiting stagnant energy here yeah a lot of regret and hurt okay a lot of regret and hurt is taking place here for you um you know you're feeling bad about uh, the past uh, looking at things in that you're looking at things that went wrong and really just focusing on that you're not looking at the overall picture okay uh it also talks about where uh, there's a lot of resentment guilt or hurt guiltiness for some of you as well and um they're saying that everything happens for a reason and you really need to find that that silver lining now let's see what this uh five of cups energy why what is what is the what, how can they overcome this or what what is going to take place for them to that's why the tower some of you have been asked have been asking for divine intervention and it's here for you okay let's see Three of Wands. Okay, whatever situation it is, with the Three of Wands energy, energy is just showing me that your ships are coming in. Okay, for those of you that think that, uh, you know, you've been waiting for such a long time for a certain situation, well, your ships are coming in, Pisces. Okay, whatever it is. Uh, this is long-term investment and long-term plans. Oops. 
Let me see what the Seven of Cups energy is. What the three? Okay. Why is the Five of Cups energy here with the Hangman? Too many cards. Okay, hold on. Okay. Well, you're real, but you're reevaluating everything at this moment. Okay. There is some type of, this is why you're taking the time you're thinking, you're overthinking. And some of you, this has to do with money. Some of you, this has to do with just your life in general. There's a reevaluation up to for, from a long time ago. Okay. Um, I also see here, some of you have the energy of the queen of swords. Now this could be your energy, or this is, you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But if this is your energy, uh, Pisces, uh, some of you are not taking any more BS from anybody else, okay? And you're going to cut through people or situations if they don't uh, feel good to you, okay? And, uh, you know, you're very blunt, okay? I see a, a, a lot of bluntness in this uh, reading here. If you're dealing with someone or this is in your energy. But what you got here is the wheel and the star card. So, February and so forth, there is a healing and a blessing that's taking place for you. But this is beautiful. This is returning to get health, a lot of opportunities, inspiration, and hope is going to be restored. And the wheel talks about, well, the wheel talks about the wheel is turning into your favor because you have to go through many, many, many uh, peeling to get to where you are, okay? Um, this talks about um, peelings, like, you know, you peel layer after layer. Changes are taking place, opportunities, luck, destiny, winning, and chances taking place, or second chances for some of you. Now, let's see what the Four of Swords energy is all about. Oh, boy. The cards went flying. And here we go. Some of you are uh, heartbroken, okay, with this Four of Swords energy. You're heartbroken. A lot of you are meditating to uh, heal your heart chakra. There is a, 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 there is some type of energy here that is watching you or you're watching someone, Pisces, on the internet, okay? Uh, someone that's not very clear. There is some type of communication that might take place for some of you, okay? Now, let's see what else it means here. Why is the Three of Swords energy, Page of uh, Swords and the Four of Swords here? What is this all about? Some of you are going through, some of you might be, um, some of you, okay, are going through a rebirth here, death and rebirth, ending of a relationship or ending of a way, of an old being. Uh, there's, um, Ending, there's an ending, that's 100%, but of a relationship or just the old you, okay? The way you used to think, the, used to, the way you used to do things, patterns, behaviors. This could also talk about someone around you uh, in, uh, that will, you'll hear about their passing that will, um, you know, maybe uh, make you take some time off because, uh, you know, um, you're feeling sad about a person or a situation here that's taking place and you're going to hear some type of news coming towards you or others of you you're dealing with a scorpio energy here now let's see what the ten of pentacles is all about okay let me see what the ten, ten of pentacles is all about okay six of wands okay this is nice so the ten of pentacles here when it talks about okay maybe two people coming in together sharing their wealth this is like unexpected money. Whatever it is, there's someone coming in, sharing the same vision as you, and making uh, you're you're you're, you're making um, um, you're making steps towards uh, each other, and having the same vision. Okay, someone coming towards you, and I also have the six of wands energy. So there is going to be it's going whatever the situation is, it will be successful. Okay, this could be an online business that you have. Okay, that um, you thought that you had to probably revamp it, redo it, or something like that for some of you. But it will be successful. You will be successful, and you will have some type of recognition that is coming in for you. Now, why is the Six of Wands here? With, um, why is the Six of Wands here? 
Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. It's an ending of a situation where you had a lot on your shoulders. You've been carrying a lot on your shoulders. Okay, a lot of heavy weight. And it's an ending that will take place with this Ten of Pentacles. Now let's see what the Lover's card is all about. Oops. You got the Ace of Sword energy. This is beautiful. You're seeing through a situation very clearly. The Divine is coming in to bring you this type of energy here. Okay, which is uh, it's going to clear everything for you where you're going to, for like if you in the past could not see a situation, well, you're going to see it very clearly. There's going to be a lot of communication and um, a lot of great ideas. Why is the Ace of Swords here with the Lover's card? Okay, so uh, where, if you were if you were with someone that was experiencing um, this is Neptune, so this is your card. So the Moon card could talk about many things. Okay, the Divine is saying if it is a blessing, when there's a Moon card, there's there's a lot of blessings that come with it, but there's also the other part of it. There's also illusions and deception around, especially with Neptune, right? And you guys, I, you know, Pisces, you have to deal with that like on an everyday basis, some of you. So something is not what it, it is not what as it appears, okay, at this moment. And um, it could be a misunderstanding, misunderstanding uh, on their part or uh, something that they cannot admit to you or it's vice versa. This is going through difficult uh, periods, a lot of insecurities and fears and mental confusion and hint, something that was hidden from you. But the divine is coming in to bring you the clarity that you need. If this has to do with someone from your past, okay? And uh, you also got the Three of Pentacles. So this is a strong foundation here. Even though maybe you've been on the break or you haven't seen this person, I don't know who this message is for. But that bond was never broken, even though you're not speaking to each other, okay? There's stability here and commitment here, okay? And I also have the Empress card. So... Um, this is you. Everything you touch turns to gold. Or everything you touch turns to light. This is someone that's very nurturing. A lot of abundance is around her. Uh, these are our new opportunities that are presenting themselves. Uh, this talks about stability and uh, rebirth. Okay, A lot of rebirths have been taking place here for you. And I'm sure that's what you have been going through. Uh, this talks about also what the divine is saying is that for some of you, you're going to be very fertile in ideas, okay, that are coming to you very quickly. And for those of you that have been in a relationship and wanting to be pregnant, this could be, a, uh, some of you will be if you're in a committed relationship. Now, let's see what the Nine of Swords energy is all about here. That is what is crowning you at this moment. Okay, why is this um, Nine of Swords energy? So you're feeling left out of a situation or leave left out of the of the dark about a situation. Maybe someone ghosted you, blocked you on every level, and you're feeling left out, or you're feeling that you're lacking of, or you don't feel like you're good enough. You have to let go of how, of those feelings because those feelings are not worthy. You are a worthy person. Okay. So what is the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords here? What is this all about for Pisces? Okay, so you're going to overcome this. This is very beautiful to see. So you're going to overcome whatever situation you're going through because you're rising above. Through Some of you are doing yoga or meditation. Okay, but you're going to be rising above whatever this energy is that's trying to pull you down because there is celebration that will be taking place for you. There is celebration and joy and happiness that will come about. Okay, so please do not lose hope or give hope or give or lose hope or don't give up. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here all about? There's been a lot of energy around you with the Five of Wands energy. Of people fighting maybe uh, if you're in a couple you're not seeing things clearly there's a lot of confusion right now you're not agreeing to to the method or you're not agreeing to something okay but you hold the key you hold the key okay uh pisces to all of this 
you're feeling that uh, you're feeling apart or left out of a situation or maybe an argument or something in your life okay why is the queen of pentacles here with the five of wands energy one more card Ace of Cups, whatever the situation is, you're over, you're going to overcome it, especially if you're in a relationship. Like I see that there is some type of reconciliation that will take, be taking place here. Uh, this is sacred love, true love, okay? Uh, this is a relationship that is based on love. You're just probably going through um, some difficulty right now, but I do see it stable. This is a divine union that's coming in. Divine union, divine love, overcoming difficulties, pure love overwhelming and being at peace at the same time and the page of wands energy the pages are always about new beginnings of passion there's a lot of passion here that's taking place and inspiration within now let's see what this king of cups energy is all about the king of cups why is this king of cups here the world so there is uh with this king of cups this could be you there is a completion that you're coming. You're coming full circle, Pisces. Very nice to see. You're coming full circle on past events, past lessons. A lot of wisdom here. Uh, with the world card, it talks about ending of a cycle of life, which could put some of you 10 years, 20 years, 30, or even 50 years for some of you. So right now there's a pause, right? And uh, before you make the next step. So there is major change that's coming towards you, successful plans and conclusions, a lot of possibilities and uh, fulfillment and achievement that's taking place, coming full circle. You're coming full circle, okay? So this is very positive when there's a world, there's new beginnings after. There's always a new beginning that takes place when there's a completion. Maybe some of you don't even sense that you did a completion. Why is the world card here with the King of Cups? What is this all about? Okay, well, there, are going to be a, there is going to be a message coming towards you very quickly. The message is coming in. Okay, a very swift message, very truthful message that will be coming in. And uh, this message will change your life. Okay, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, or it doesn't have to be. Uh, but there's someone coming in to give you a truthful message, and you can manifest whatever you want because you got the magician. So if you think positive and you think po you keep positive thoughts and do affirmations, do your vision board and listen to high vibrational frequency and music with the magician card, you can manifest anything that you desire. You're going to get out of this, okay? And it's looking good for you. Now, what is the Eight of Swords energy all about here? The song I got for you from the Divine right now, they just told me is uh, from Rihanna, and it's um, Diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. This is what they told. Okay. What is the Eight of Swords? There's a message in that song for you. And apparently, the Vinyl says that that song is a high vibrational song for you to use on a daily basis because it will bring your spirits up. So there is someone coming towards you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy here. This is someone that's stable, someone that has your back, someone that's coming and get you, in a sense, coming and get you when I said that. Like they come in, they take their time, but they bring a blessing. This could be also a promotion or a job. But what I see here, that this is someone that cares about you. And you also got the King of Swords energy here. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here. This could talk about someone that's coming in here also as well that is very compassionate, very kind. If there's a problem, any problem that they perceive, there's solutions. They have a lot of wisdom and a lot of great communication and ideas. Okay, that's taking place. Why is the King of Swords here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords energy? This is coming out of a place where you did not see things clearly to a place that you will see things clearly. Some of you are dealing with a father figure. If not, you're dealing with an Aries energy or this has to do with your own business, you going solo. This could also talk about like some type of promotion, promotion or commitment, some type of action-based stability. This could take place in the month of March of 2020. 
Uh, this is setting up new boundaries and uh, new rules and having everything under control. Because I have the Emperor and the Empress here. You should look at also the other two readings I did tonight. I think it was Taurus, if I'm not mistaken, and Libra. Because uh, I feel that some of you have uh, a lot on, um, maybe you have uh, Taurus in your chart or Libra. It's always good to look at it. Maybe there's something you can get there for yourself. But we'll see the Four of Cups reversed. What is this all about? Okay. Well, Eight of Pentacles talks about working hard. On a, uh, working hard. Let's talk about maybe going back to school for some of you. A missed opportunity. It's like you're working in details and you're working late at night. Okay. Uh, it's really taking a lot out of you. But there's, there's a sense of not giving up because you've got the Ten of Cups energy. These are emotions. So you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is a love or a financial situation here. Uh, this talks about a soulmate for some of you. This is a soulmate coming, uh, letting go of a twin flame and going within a soulmate. This talks about uh, an omen for people that are in a committed relationship as well. There's a blessing here for you where there's going to be abundance. There's going to be achievement, family, and happiness. And you got the Six of Swords. So you are going through a transition with this situation. There's a transition that you're going through, transformation. Some of you are going to be moving or relocating as well. And you're going to a place where things will be calmer. Where is it? What is the Seven of Swords energy reversed? What is this all about? Okay, I also got the Queen of Cups energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is you or a couple because I have the King and the Queen. She is unconditional love. She is nurturing. She is warm. She gives it her all when she gives. This is you, Pisces. Okay, you give it your all. Um, you are the earth. You are the water. You are the tides. You are the cosmos. Your intuition here is something that you need to take. And you have, this could be Saturn, okay, and Jupiter in Capricorn right now. That's bringing you a lot of tests. But it's also bringing you a lot of abundance that's coming your way. For others of you, you're dealing with a Capricorn energy. For others of you, this is uh, you uh, letting go of unhealthy uh, situations, people, uh, fears, or uh, just uh, addictions. Okay, just letting go of addictions here, or someone that you're were, you were bonded to. There is a letting go of. Okay, now what is this all about with the devil and the Queen of Cups with the Seven of Swords reversed, Six of Pentacles. Well, whatever the situation that's coming around in full circle here for you. I don't know if you see the book. I think. Don't tell me. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, what I see here is uh, whatever you give, you are going to be receiving and things will be in balance. Okay. And you also got the Ace of Wands that came out. Okay. Which is uh, the Ace is all about a new beginning. Talks about where it's going to be passionate, very loving, very inspirational. There's a beginning of a start. And the Tower card. Let's look at the Tower card. And you've got underneath the deck the Tower card. Why is the Tower card here for Pisces? You got the queen of wands energy so this is someone that is very energetic okay very energetic uh, individual here um it talks about the queen of wands talks about um someone that has a very strong feminine energy very optimistic very uh you know courageous and generous and truthful this could be your energy or someone that you're dealing with that you're having a tower moment with what is this all about or just uh, you coming back to life. Okay. Yeah, it's an um, so it's wishing upon, wishing upon many stars here, wishing and wishing, praying to a saint as well. 
there's some type of saint that you're prayed to to for maybe some of you this has to do with the, the uh, divine intervention or some type of money situation or love situation that you want and the ten of swords reverse which means releasing what no longer serves you now we'll take one final card okay one final card for you overall energy for you pisces Well, you've got a new beginning that's taking place for you with the four of wands, a new beginning that's taking place. Proposal in the home, selling a home, new, buying a new home, selling a new home, but there's happiness in the home, marriage. I also see this as a proposal or some type of commitment that's coming towards you. Okay, uh, there's something that is uh, going to be happiness in the home and uh, uh, where both of you are sharing happiness and love, which this has to do with a love relationship, okay, where uh, you're staying away from drama and other people. What a beautiful reading. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed the reading, my beautiful Pisces. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Let me know how you feel about the reading. And uh, know that I, uh, I love you and I have your back and I'll see you in March, okay? But don't forget next week, you will have a second video coming in for your crystals. Take care. Know that I love you. Bye.